Jam, I know you have multiple clients, but how the heck do you manage all these projects? How do you make sure that you don't miss a single deadline? How do you make sure that you do not miss a specific task? How do you organize everything? How do you make sure that you do not lose your clients because you're lost already with all of those deliverables? Everyone, chill! There's this thing called project management tools. What are those? Watch the full video. Hey guys, it's Jam the founder of Barangay V University and welcome to my latest series called Oh My Tools where I talk about all the tools or the basic tools that you need to learn as a future remote worker or freelancer. For today's video, we're going to talk about project management tools. Jam, why is it important to learn project management tools and what is the impact of this, of having this in your day-to-day -day life as a business, as an entrepreneur, as a remote worker. Regardless, you have one, two, three, four, five clients. Regardless, you need to have your own project management tool. And usually, you have your personal one, okay? And sometimes, your client or their business will have its own as well. Project management tool is a software or in you can actually add all your projects and then view it with a team. You can assign team members. You can assign tasks where you can also see the status of each task wherein you can organize everything in a calendar view, in a Kanban view, in a list view, whatever view that is. But this is the best view. <laughs> I'm kidding. But kidding aside, this is the key for you to be able to organize all your tasks to make sure everyone that you are not missing any deadline. But Jam, what are the tools or the project management tools that you've been using for the past years? Actually, the first project management tool and the easiest, okay, that I was able to use is Trello. It's a very simple Kanban view project management tool wherein you can put your list of tasks on the left side and then on the right side, there's like a section there that's called to do. And, and then on the right side, it's ongoing or on it and on the right side for approval and on the right side, done. So you just add a card there and then just move the card from left to right depending on the status. You can add notes there, you can assign team members there, you can put deadlines, you can um, upload files, whatever. Very easy, okay? You can add boards and per board is a project, you can do that. And everything that I will talk about here are both for free and there are premium packages as well. Second project management tool that I learned to use, okay? is Airtable. This one is very easy. Just like Trello, there's like a Kanban view, but this is more diverse. There's a calendar view, there are automations. I mean, everything has automations, but this has automations. This has um, timeline views and all the views in the world. But then again, it's still very easy to use, okay? What's good about this is that you can create dashboards at the same time. You can create a form. Everything that you need for a business it's already in Airtable. Automations, everything. The next thing that I've learned is Asana. Very easy as well. It's like the combination of Trello and Airtable, but very, very easy. The next two that I've learned, okay, are both Monday.com and ClickUp can be a project management tool and can be a CRM as well. It's more complicated because it has like the most automations it has the most functions it has templates what's good about it is that it already has templates in there you can just choose and it's also for free there's a free version and there's a paid version and the most complex project management tool that i used is a notion that's why we're using it here it's very powerful and i love it you can actually do a lot of things with notion it's like a blank sheet there you can add everything that you need customized in one page however you want it that's how powerful notion is it's very easy if you want everything to be easy for you but it's also powerful if you want something that's really complex or something that's very convenient and powerful for you as well it depends on your liking okay so these are the basic project management tools that you need to learn um again you may start with trello because that's the easiest but you comment below what's your favorite project management tool but you need to be able to like try all of these because there are some clients that are requiring you to learn like a specific project management tool already because it's what they're using already so you adjust not them adjusting to you okay 
So learn all these this week and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye.